Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. I, uh, you see that space there? This is the rear, rear brake cooling vent on a C5 Corvette. And I caught something, a cone or something there. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this vent off. I'm going to show you how to take it off. Then I'm going to do a little bit of a, a repair, see what's going on with that front edge of it it should be completely flush and uh, I'll have to take off the fender liner uh, the rear wheel the fender liner and uh, so that's what we're going to do today we're going to jack it up of course I use one jack under the uh, the uh, rear um, the rear subframe on this car and uh, put some jack stands under there to be safe you're going to find, I don't know how many, I'll tell you how many when I get them all out. You're going to find a whole bunch of these 7 millimeter um, bolts. I got a little nut driver. I think that's probably the easiest way to get them all out. Just like that. Okay, so let's go find them all. Get, it, get everything loosened up and get the back of it coming out first. I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven little uh, seven millimeter bolts, uh, including some for the brake cooling duct. And then there's also one underneath the rocker panel. It actually goes through the rocker panel, you know, the end of the rocker panel. And I think the hard part is going to be just to lift it out of this edge here. So you get the back going first, and then I'm going to just try lifting out the brake duct and the liner at the same time. I'll need two hands to do that. I'll show you when I'm done. It is as I suspected. You kind of get them both out at the same time, even though they're two separate pieces. You kind of... You, you drop back the back part, you push in over here where the brake duct is, and that gets it away from this lip, and then once you get it away from, away from the lip, you just kind of lift it up over the lip. So now we have access to the, to the back side here. Let me give you a little shot of that. Lighting. There, there's the back side. One, two, three. Uh, it looks like four, maybe one, one, two, three or four, whatever. I'll get to it. And then that'll come right out. Okay, there it is, and it's uh, four. Four eight millimeter nuts, and it comes off, and here we can see what I've got to work with here. It's like a two-piece backing plate and then a front fascia. And the screen is sandwiched in between there. So, of course, I'm not going to take it all apart. I'm just going to try to fix this front end of it. can't see it very well. Sorry. Oh, there, you can see it. Just something got jammed up there. Uh, so I take it to the bench and see what I can do. I got some gravel that was stuck in there. The trouble is this bent piece is sort of like a permanently bent piece of plastic and it's going to push out on the piece that I want to lay flat against the bodywork. So what I'm going to try to do is heat it up with a little uh, map gas torch and see if I can flatten it out. I don't think it'll, I'm not going to try to melt it back together. I think I'll use some plastic epoxy in there. But I just want to try to get that bend out of it. See that kink? Well, that actually worked great. I, um, I just used the torch on it. it the lowest possible heat that I could. I think you could even use a candle. <laughs> and uh, I got the kink out of it. I just took some pliers and pressed down on it. 
and it actually caught fire uh, so just you know blow it out if it catches fire but it, it's very easy to heat up absolutely so now it's flat and I'm going to epoxy it together and then I'm going to try and do a plastic coat finish on this I'll just clean up, clean up and tape off the wire and then shoot it with plastic coat see how that looks so I shot that up with brake cleaner um, to clean it up and make a good clean surface for the plastic epoxy. I'm going to use this uh, this plastic epoxy. Uh, I think it'll work okay. It's sometimes it's it's iffy. There, there's so many different kinds of plastic that. And who knows what kind this is, but I'm going to try it. And it's not a place where there's a lot of pulling or pressure or tension or anything trying to pull it apart. I just want it to hold together. Uh, so we'll try that. Okay, I mixed up some of that epoxy and I'm going to slather it in there. And then I've got a couple of clamps that I'm going to use to clamp it. Okay, there it is, and uh, that looks nice and full of epoxy and nice and flat. So if the stuff sticks to the black uh, plastic uh, that's used on this piece of the Corvette, then I think we'll have a good repair there. Uh, I'm just going to let that sit for now. i got to make a trip to the store and get some plastic dip, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, this is where we are. And... Sanding preparation is pretty basic, so I'm really not going to show you a video of me sanding, but I'm going to show you what I used. I used that sanding block, and I used some plain sandpaper. Uh, this is all, that's fine, that's a 150, that might be a, a 100, might be a 100, I'm not sure. This might be a 200, I used that little Makita. Um, just sanding all the rough spots out um, because it, it does get very beat up. I'm going to move this a little bit. It's starting to rain here and I don't want to get it wet. Then I cleaned it up with denatured alcohol. I also used that, uh, I think that's triple or quadruple zero uh, steel wool to make the stainless steel mesh nice and shiny. You can't see it because I taped over it, but boy, it looks like, uh, it looks good. If you ever want to clean up that um, steel mesh, I would use uh, some alcohol and uh, that uh, steel wool, the fine steel wool. Uh, so there's, it's ready to paint, and actually instead of Plasti Dip, uh, what I'm going to use is this. It's a, uh, it says, for vinyl, plastic, and leather, renew or change color. So it's a paint, basically, and it is for vinyl or plastic, so I know it's compatible. I've got a nice roughed-up surface, so I don't think I need to prime. And I'm going to put about three or four coats of it on there. And it's going to come out kind of a, a glossy black instead of a satin black. Uh, I'm not really worried about that. Uh, glossy black will be okay. It'll it'll get dirty after I race the car a few times anyway. Um, but uh, the main thing is to show you how I got this out. And I did repair that tip, and that tip came out nice. It looks like it's it's going to lay nice and flat from now on. So you can use a a, a little bit of heat from a torch to melt that corner if you need to melt it and get it back into shape and uh, it's a really bad drying day because it's raining uh, but I'm going to shoot it anyway I'm just going to put it on a big uh, piece of cardboard and, and use the rattle can and shoot it a few times uh, it'll dry slow so I might have to do a couple coats tomorrow also uh, gee whiz I want to give you a shot well I'll shoot one coat and then I'll give you a picture of what it looks like. How's that? Because I want to wrap this up today. I don't like my videos to go over two days if I can help it. Uh, so let's shoot some uh, 
that plastic paint on there. Okay, I've got two coats on there now. This is uh, one of my work lights. It's 500 watt halogen. So, as it turns out, it's actually kind of like a heat lamp. And so, even though it's a bad drying day, uh, I didn't have to wait too long in between coats. And let me show you. I mean, I didn't. I didn't sand this to perfection with, you know, 1,000 grit sandpaper. So it's going to show some uh, some roughness. Uh, but like I said, see where it lives. It lives down there in all the dust and dirt and grime of the road and everything. So I uh, didn't didn't expect it to. I didn't expect that I wanted to put the time into making it look like a piece of art and then stick it on the car and have it get all trashed up again. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with how it's how it's coming out. I'm going to give it a couple more coats. Like I said, I think. I think four coats on this will be good. Let me show it to you from the other side. Mm. How can I show this to you? Uh, that's, I'm really having a little trouble with the light here. So. I guess up there, that might be about as good as you get it. Yeah, I think it's going to be okay. Um, so I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, you should be able to figure out how it goes back on since I showed you exactly how it comes off. And uh, I will uh, I'll get around to doing the other side. If it looks good enough, I think I'll do the other side. Uh, anyway, that's what Froggy's got for you today. Uh, thanks for watching. I do this for you guys and gals. And uh, if you want more, subscribe. If you like it, give me a thumbs up or, uh, or a like. Anyway, uh, see you later. Froggy out. Have a great weekend, guys and gals. Bye-bye.